Hi there, I'm Laura McCracken. I'm sitting here in the lovely Martlina Dietrich Bar in Berlin at the Merchant Payment Ecosystems. And I'm privileged to be working on a special project of busting some myths. And I've been helping, getting some help from some of our favorite speakers and participants at Merchant Payment Ecosystems. And today, I'm lucky enough to have Yves Ruland and Jana Malkova to help me with busting a myth. Now, I haven't told them in advance what the myth is, but I think you guys can handle this one okay. based on your business. Curious. Very yes. Curious. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it because I'm not going to, well, well, I will tell you. Okay. Myth number seven, mm -hmm. open banking will never be adopted by merchants. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a choice of true, false, or it's complicated. I'm going to straight go for false. Yeah. Definitely false. Yeah, so full agreement on that one. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, tell me more. Why? What do you think? Why do you think merchants will adopt it? Well, speaking as a merchant, uh, I oh. think we could, be, we could be the best example of why uh, open banking is the future and the way to go. Um, because essentially we see for mobile payments, at least in Belgium, where we are mostly active, we see it as the best payment flow and experience for the customer. It's so smooth, it's so fast, it's so reliable. Um, and that was actually what we were looking for uh, coming to MP last year mm -hmm. that we are now presenting today together of what we've done with open banking. Um, Very so, yeah. good. Now, and what do you think? Open banking payment provider, uh, we just see the numbers. So we grow every month significantly and it means that merchants are adopting open banking in Europe. Very good. Now I should back up and let you guys tell me because it sounds like, you know, so you're a merchant and you're a yeah. provider. So what, tell me about your company. Yeah, so we are called DataTim, but we have a few products amongst which entry mm -hmm. tickets, which is basically an event platform. Mm -hmm. we're the, today we're the fastest growing event platform in Belgium. Um, we're doing a number of stuff, selling yeah. tickets for events, doing cashless payments at events. Um, and yeah, that's what we do in short. Cool, cashless payment, I like that. <laughs> and everything is an omnichannel payment provider for European countries. Mm -hmm. And we strive to be the most reliable open banking payment provider in Europe. Um, Excellent, so it's always been open banking. Do you use any other rails, scheme rails or? You know, maybe I will. I would also provide more information on the story why we decided to do open banking. Yeah. My husband used to work uh, in a in a bank back then in 2014 when he first time read the regulation mm -hmm. papers, and when he came home, he was like, "Oh, there is going to be a revolution in financial business." And so we knew pretty soon that there is a political decision on. Um, and the fact that Europe wants to become independent in the area of payments, as we know that 80% of all payments are processed through foreign payment providers. And it's clear demand on the political level that these things need to be regulated within EU. And we started working on that in 2019 when that regulation came into when the regulation mm -hmm. came fully in, into force. Mm -hmm. So we were pretty ahead of the others. And yeah, th that's, only, that's only our focus, open banking, because we see that, or we are convinced that it will be the trend for the future. And maybe what personally motivated me to be part of this project is that I, when, when we were doing the competitors analysis or you know the feasibility study before we even started really working on the technology we read quite a lot of papers and quite a lot of uh, useful information to decide uh, whether to do it or not mm -hmm. and I found a very interesting German story uh, and I found a very interesting German study on it and I can still remember those uh, that paragraph that inspired me so much. It was written there, European dependency on foreign payment providers is a big geostrategic issue and it should be recognized within the within the government's ministerial level down. It's a geopolitical agencies. threat is what you're saying. Yes, like, that yeah. was the, what I saw written in that right. study 
and it was also like it should be recognized within boards of financial financial institutions and also within within a general public and I thought okay if we are just missing the technology why not to do it we mm -hmm. have all the talents for that mm -hmm. let's see once we have it done and once we have created it what the merchants say and what do you say <laughs> love it love it uh, and especially as you mentioned being in, from Europe uh, having a European solution makes it so much better uh, it's a really authentic story behind it um, we love it. We're really glad of having implemented it. Mm -hmm. uh, and we see, of obviously, also the effects on our business. Um, payments are smooth. Customers yeah. are happy. Uh, that's what it's all about. I guess. Yeah. It's, it's funny, you, you mentioned back in 2014, and I remember the debate back then in the UK, mm -hmm. um, where everyone said, no, it'll never happen. Uh, the banking rails will never, they're, yeah. they're never going to open up the banking rails to to non-bank players and things like that. They said it would never happen. And guess what, it did. And so your husband obviously <laughs> was the, one of the first people to really see the future. Uh, but even the people who were incumbents and knew what was going on, they didn't seem to believe it. Yeah. But people believe now. Yeah. So, And um, tell me more about how you guys met. So I know you, you, I heard the story that you met at Merchant Payment Ecosystem. Exactly, yeah. It's a funny story where we were here last year for the first time. Uh, talking to a lot of his, the, the companies, super interesting, uh, doing the meetings uh, that are scheduled. But actually, the, the, the best thing we got out of the conference happened just at the coffee table where we bumped into each other. And Jan mm. asked me, hey, what do you do? Yeah, we are this ticketing provider. And I said, okay, what do you do? Yeah, we do open banking, but I need you. Uh, and then we started discussing there and then very quickly, I think in a span of one to two months, we, were, we had a contract signed and we were moving on. Uh, and this is where we are today, presenting on stage uh, about what we've done together. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been a beautiful story so far. I think that's one of the best things about this conference is you do have merchants. I mean, yeah. usually the conferences I go to yeah. are all, you know, payment geeks like myself. Yeah. So it's great to have you here. Thank you for coming. And it's great that you Thank have you. the... You know, you, you, you're assertive enough to ask him, what do you do? What do you need? How can I help you? <laughs> and it worked. Yeah. Yes. And so it's been a, a good cooperation ever since. So how long have you been working together? I guess it's a bit less than a year now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. And, uh, so we started with the, let's say, eShop payments or uh, online payments, but mm -hmm. now we are partnering also in other segments. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like refunds, um, e-invoicing. Uh, we've opened the box of Pandora. What Open Banking can do. Where yeah. at first we thought it was just about, yeah, check, doing a checkout and the payment. But through Yana and everything, uh, we've learned that there's so much more possibilities mm -hmm. um, that have been opened up. Uh, as an example, um, automatically sending invoices for a corporate buyer who wants to buy tickets for a corporate event, mm -hmm. which is usually a pretty manual process. And then also having that invoice paid, fully done through open banking, payment, mm -hmm. tracking that payment, um, which was we didn't even think of before. Yeah. No, so that's awesome. great. Well, what is the, I mean, for merchants, we, we keep hearing these stories about merchants aren't going to adopt it, but so what is the blocker? Why, why would you not take it? Sounds great. I'm curious too. Um, yeah. Last year, we picked up on open banking. Like, this could really become something. Um, we need this. Uh, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious to learn why other merchants are potentially um, not discovering it yet. Or as you said, there's a myth about, huh. will they even adopt it? Yeah, we really it's cheaper, believe in faster. It. Yeah. Exactly. More secure, yes. Yeah, I mean, the HMRC adopted it in the UK, but there aren't that many in the UK. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I live in the UK. Yeah. I know I sound like American, but I actually <laughs> live in the UK. I haven't for a long time. But um, no, the, the, uh, the Brits um, are just very traditional. Just like the Germans love their cash, the Brits yeah. love their credit cards. Yeah. So, yeah, the, they have a long way to come. I think that the Europeans are probably ahead. You know, as, and maybe one more thing to mention, you know, European financial market is really fragmented, but with open banking, you can embrace other markets pretty fast. Like, you know, we mastered Belgium, yeah? Yep. Yeah. And now we are moving to Netherlands and then to Luxembourg. Yep. And it can be done in, in uh, yeah. very quick, quick, quick uh, very, very quick time. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. It helps us to broaden our markets very easily and very fast, actually. Because as Jana mentioned, it's just a matter of the technology is already implemented. So if mm -hmm. you want to launch tomorrow in the Netherlands, no problem. We can do it 
um, like this. Yeah. Um, and in a sense, it, I think open banking just makes sense, mm -hmm. where everyone has their bank app. They're used to using it for everything. So when you buy online, it just makes so, so much sense to be redirected to your bank app, mm -hmm. confirm and go back without any steps in between. Yeah. Um, so that's why we initially believed so much in open banking. And you know, for the consumers, it's the most secure way to pay now. For example, yeah. you need to go to your bank where nobody sees your credentials. You need to authorize the payment in open banking. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you just go straight to the shop at back. To, so the, the added value that we are bringing here is also the security. Mm -hmm. It's the most secure way to pay nowadays on the market. Yeah. Excellent. Well, listen, I am very inspired by you guys, your story, uh, your business, your vision. So thank you for coming here. Thank you for being embracing new technologies. And uh, let's just uh, raise a glass and toast. Wonderful to the merchant payment ecosystem for bringing you guys together and all the best for your business. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.